Hello guys. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another video. Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday. Oh, happy day. I hope that you're having a good evening tonight, collective. If you are new here, I want to say thanks for stopping by. Please take a minute, like the video, share the video. Okay, guys, leave me some comments. If you want to book me for a private reading, I'm available. This will be a general, it's a general message, babe. It's general. Don't try to make a message fit. Every tarot reading is not for everyone. Take what you need from the message and leave the rest. Someone is longing for you tonight. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they're in another connection. Perhaps you're just not with them. Perhaps it's a long distance connection. Someone is longing for you. But there is some sort of unavailability here. This could be emotional distance. This could be physical distance. This could be both. Okay. Just take this particular message how it resonates. Okay, guys. Yes. Overall energies. We got the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're coming up as someone that's very loving. Okay, this is a loving queen right here. She's, in fact, the most loving queen. Yeah, and somebody seriously loves the fuck out of you, Queen of Cups. Okay, go see where Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces resides in your charts. Happy birthday, Piscean, celebrating your birthdays today. There's something deeply emotional and very intense about you that's hypnotic. Okay, yes, the Queen of Cups... <laughs> She knows how to seduce effortlessly, or he, okay? These are masterful, emotional, intelligent beings, okay? Mm. Somebody is seriously longing for this Queen of Cups tonight. Perhaps someone needs some emotional healing or some sexual healing, okay? They may not be speaking about it, but that's definitely here. Mm. We got the Knight of Coins, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Coins. Hmm. Mm. Somebody's been putting you all for... Perhaps they have you on a bench, okay? Somebody put you in the bench or somebody benched you, Queen of Cups, okay? Perhaps somebody chose someone else over you. Or perhaps someone is doing some work to try to slow you down from being with someone else, okay? This could also indicate that there's an offer coming in, but it's been slow. Or there's an offer that's coming in soon, but it's taken a while to get to you, okay? But I feel like, you know what? It's coming in. Take the reading how it resonates. Ooh, we got the King of Wands. He's coming in. I feel like someone needs some healing. Okay, only the okay, this type of healing that this person needs, only the Queen of Cups can give. Okay. Someone nurturing, loving, compassionate. Okay. She's loving, she's nurturing, he's nurturing, he's compassionate. And someone needs some sort of healing that only this Queen of Cups can give. Okay. This person could be a little rough around the edges. The King of Wands. Okay. He could be aggressive. She could be aggressive, very dominating type of personality. That may not openly express their desires. I mean, you know, they may openly seem sexual or available. They may be extroverted, but there's something that they don't express. But the Queen of Cups doesn't need you to express it because she knows it. She or he, they know what type of healing you need, okay? Yes. Mm. There could be someone coming in in the next few days, few weeks, few months. He or she, they could be extremely passionate and intense. But... They may also need some sort of healing that only you can provide, okay? Point blank, period. Yes, <laughs> you could actually be like a, you could be a counselor, a psychiatrist, a massage therapist. You could have some sort of um, divine sexual healing that this person needs, okay? Period, I see that here. We got the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. I don't know, perhaps you own your own business or that would be something that would be good for you. Massage therapy, uh, Reiki healing or something like that. Yeah, perhaps you would be a good psychiatrist. Yeah. Somebody is looking for some nurturing and only you could provide this type of nurturing that they're looking for. They're not going to find it nowhere else and they may not even be speaking about it. They may not even know they need it. The universe may let you meet this person or reconnect with this person because they need healing. You need healing. Or if it's just, it would just be overall good for the both of you guys. Mmm, this is what I'm seeing. The moon card and the seven of cups. There is some sort of illusion here. Somebody could have potentially put you off. The seven of cups, the moon card, the knight of coins. Yeah, they could have put you off. This could have been somebody that put you off. And this could also indicate somebody that freaking chose someone else over you. You know, the king of the king of wands, you know, 
he could be a player or a cheater. She could be someone that, you know, potentially is, you know, you know how the king of wands is. He's, it's very likely that he has multiple lovers or many lovers or she has multiple options. He has multiple options. Multiple people want them. Perhaps they put this queen of cups off, okay? Yes, they have this beautiful, loving, divine creature wrapped there in their arms or in their life or in the, the potential for this queen of cups to be with this person was there. They went the other way. Looks like they want that healing that only you could provide or they need it. They may not be speaking about it, okay? This could be someone you know already, or this could be a new person, okay? They may have played a lot of head games with you. They took they took their time and played with other people, but they played over you, if that makes any sense. And you were the one that had the, the key, or you hold the key to their healing, okay? We got balance. If this person, you know, this person may not be speaking about it, but the fact of the matter is, there's an imbalance that is in their life, okay? Damn, they overlooked you, or they just chose someone over you, or... Perhaps this is someone new that needs the type of healing. They need the type of healing. Um, I'm hearing this is a female. The type of healing that only you can provide. We got a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone may be getting ready to reach out. Okay? You may turn this person down. That's going to be part of the lessons that they're going to learn here. Everybody is not to be played with. Okay, you're coming up as the Queen of Swords. She's not going to play with you. He's not going to play with you. The Queen of Swords will cut you off swiftly, quickly, and, and, and in a hurry. Okay, <laughs> this person may be younger than you, or you may feel like they're childish, or they play too many childish head games with you. You lost interest, or you're not making yourself readily available to them because of all the fucking games that they play with you. Okay, they could be longing for you all they want. <laughs> okay, they could want you all they want. Your intuition is telling you to keep your freaking guard up with them, and you should listen to that. This person could be a soulmate, okay? They could be someone that you have a high level connection with. They rejected you. They didn't reject you. God protected you. You know what I'm saying? Perhaps they were hanging with their friends. They were partying. They were just doing the most, okay? They were foolish. They were reckless. They were unwise. Perhaps they were in another commitment or a partnership. You didn't know about it. Perhaps you knew about it. There was something that was not readily available for you and this person at the time. We got the five of swords. Wow. <laughs> This is your spiritual team. They're like, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get away from her. Get away from him. They're blocked. Period. They can't come nowhere near you. You've mastered a lot of things because of this particular situation. Okay? You've mastered a lot of things just overall in your life. You may like oysters because I'm picking up on oysters. You like seafood. Okay? You could be Caribbean or you're from the Caribbean or something like that. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. You may like conk. Is it called conk or whatever? You may like that, okay? This person cannot have access to you at this particular time because your spiritual team is just not going to let them anywhere near you. This could be a soulmate or a twin flame, an ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, okay? Yeah, whoever they are. They learned a valuable lesson. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not to be played with. They have a heavy obsession with you, okay? This obsession with you just will not go away. They're in the background watching. They could have Virgo significantly aspected in their charts. They could have confused the fuck out of you at some point. This caused you to become defensive, okay? Like, nah, bitch, I'm not finna play with you. I'm not gonna play with you. Okay, I'm not gonna play with you. I'm here and I'm not the one. I pick up on a female that's 45 years old. She's not playing. African-American, perhaps. She's not playing. We got a true love. Somebody played over a true love connection here. This thing helped you wake up spiritually, though. This took you through some spiritual changes that ultimately helped you grow and evolve as a human being here on the earth. So it was a lesson that you learned as well. You learned about maturity, maturity, growth, progression, and uh, moving forward through the obstacles and challenges and, and everything that comes up against you. This person will fight over you. I'm just telling you what I see. They will fight over you. They may make life hard for anybody that potentially may try to date you. Yep, we got the lover's card. This could be um, a true love for sure. This could be your twin flame, honey, or a soulmate. Once again, you're being called to wait, or they're being called to wait, because you know what? No matter how powerful or potent the chemistry is, you're being called to go slow with this person. They hurt you. You've released them, and the spiritual team is just not going to let them back in at this particular time. 
take the reading how it resonates. Some of you guys will be getting reconnected with a soulmate or a twin flame, but some of you guys just not at this particular time. They're vulnerable. <laughs> this is the most vulnerable they've ever been with you. They had to be broken down in order to be built back up. We got the Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. You know this person. You know this person. I'm also picking up on a wayward child. You could have a relative or a sibling that um, you have been estranged from. You haven't talked to them in a while. This could be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your uncle, a cousin, perhaps a best friend, somebody you've been in separation. You guys are not currently talking. They had to go through some harsh lessons here. And um, they've been broken down. If you're wondering about that person today, yeah, life really put this person on their knees. Perhaps this relative or whoever this person represents for you, perhaps they thought they were better. They had to be uh, broken down. I feel like they are in the process of being broken down or they will be or life has broken them down. This person could be on the street. They could be homeless. They could be in a rehab or institution or anything at this particular time. Some of you guys, this will represent a relative or a long lost relative. I'm hearing you're a caregiver. You're a nurturer. You know, you came out as the queen of cups. She is a nurturer. He is a nurturer. Okay. You are a caregiver. Okay. You could literally be a C CPN or RN, a registered nurse. You could also be a CNA. You could work in the medical field or that would be good for you. Perhaps you have an in-home care a health business where you go see your patients. Okay. I'm Excuse me, collective. I'm just picking up on someone that would be good with massage therapy, counseling, psychiatry, just your healing aura, just speaking to you. You know what I'm saying? Just having a conversation with you is soothing and it's healing. You're coming up as the queen of coins. Mm, I see a female, okay? A female that has left a lot of situations and a lot of people in her wake. And these people feel some type of way. You're not chasing no man tonight, okay? You're not chasing no female tonight. Mm -hmm. You're worried about your material abundance and your money, okay? Only thing she's chasing at this particular time is the bag. I feel like that's the only thing that you do chase is the bag. I'm hearing the name Chase. I also pick it up on Chase Bank. You may be getting ready to get a large deposit, okay? You may be a bail bondsman or you work for a bail bondsman or someone may be calling you to get them out of jail. Somebody may be getting ready to go to jail. They may need your assistance to get them out or they may think about you while they're in jail because I see it. Mm -hmm. We got the eight of wands. The eight of wands. Yeah, this is like somebody calling you your phone while they're in jail. You have a collect call from an inmate in the Cook County Jail. You may live in Chicago, Illinois. Okay, Cook County. I believe that's in Chicago. <laughs> yes, you may cook for a living as well. Okay, you may end up uh, blocking that number. <laughs> this could be, like I said, a wayward relative or a person you haven't talked to in a while. They may end up calling you, reaching out, saying, hey, I'm locked up. Can you bum me out or can you help me out? Yes, this could happen in the next eight days. Okay, expect some sort of communication from somebody. This could just come out of the blue. Somebody you walked away from, somebody you haven't heard from, okay? Suddenly you get a call out of the blue saying they're in jail or they're in a situation in which they require your assistance. It's funny how the tables turn, ain't it? You may live in Alabama. I see the area code 334. It's funny how the tables turn, huh? Yeah. You may be an Aquarius. You may be, you may work for the public eye or someone in the public may want you to public eye may want to work with you or use your services or assistance okay oh you may you may get a call from a secretary or someone that's related to someone that's high profile and they need your services they need your assistance they need your help they need your aid they need your expertise mm -hmm. you have integrity you see what i'm saying you have morals you have values that stuff is not going unnoticed there's there's there there are there are people that Oh, you an apology. <laughs> I told you it's funny how the tables turn. You have people that have been obstacles and they put obstacles in your path, but the tables have turned. Now they have obstacles and they want this very person that they hurt to help them. Watch out though. Don't dismiss the red flags. Okay. Yeah. Don't be so quick to uh, step in when someone is going through karma. Okay. We got the five of cups. This may take you aback to just suddenly get a random call from someone. This could be a twin flame or a soulmate or whoever this person is. I mean, it just will take you. 
it may really do something to you emotionally. Like, oh my God, it may really shock you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this person wants some sort of healing or they need some sort of healing. But you know, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, okay. He's known to be, a, we got the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Okay, he he there's there's a tendency for this person to be in and out. This person has been in and out of your energy, in and out of your life. Period. He may just want he may just this person may have fucked you over and they're getting karma and they're calling you, but they need your help. Make it make sense. They fucked you over and now they need your help. <laughs> okay? He may have fucked you good and left you. He got karma for that or he he was just using you, she was just using you. They took advantage of you. You may have met this person when you were vulnerable. Watch out for being vulnerable. That's when the enemy strikes. When you're vulnerable, that's the that's when the enemy strikes. He sends someone in and you're you 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 get in these situations with these knight of wands. Yeah. I feel like uh I feel like this is an ex boyfriend, ex wife, somebody that you had some sort of intimate relationship with. Now now and it doesn't have to be, okay? Mm-hmm. We got here and now. This person needs your assistance at this particular time as you watch this particular message. It may be related to finances. They may need you to bail them out of jail or get them out of a situation. You may be an attorney, okay, a lawyer. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, people just trust you. People trust you naturally, but this person fought you, okay? There's something about your stability here. Yes, you're trustworthy. Yeah, you could be someone that's good with money, okay? Yes. You're stable financially, perhaps, especially with the queen of coins. Yeah, you know how to manifest money. You know how to get money. You know how to maintain money. You you know how to uh, keep money coming in, honey. Yes, yeah, so we got the queen of wands. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Leo. Oh, boy. It feels like, you know, somebody got caught up with someone here. And now they need you to help them out. They, they need you to save them or rescue them or come to their aid or assistance. Yes, you could be married here. This could also indicate uh, you are attracting someone. Or you have the capabilities of attracting someone that is a very hard worker. Okay, don't settle for meteorocracy. You have a king of coins that's a very hard worker in your energetic field. He knows how to save. She knows how to save, okay? Don't settle for less. Yes, this person may know who you are. They may work in a criminal justice system, or they may come to your assistance or your aid. Pay attention. This person could be a Scorpio. <laughs> They're thinking about you. This person is saying, hey, 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 forget about him. Forget about her. I'm the one for you. I'm the man for you. I'm the woman for you. This person seems to already know who you are. This could be a new love once again. This is what I'm hearing. Yes, expect to hear some good news related to your finances. Mm -hmm. We got the devil in the seven. I feel like this could be like a son, okay? One of your kids that always get into trouble and they just call you to get them out of shit all the damn time, okay? You said I wasn't going to... It's like, okay, I'm hearing you... I said I wasn't going to help you no more, and then you end up helping them again. Perhaps it's time to just really pull back from them because they're really hurting you or they're really draining you or they're causing a lot of negative things to happen because of you're always trying to... You always try to jump in and help them. Let them get their damn karma. We got fate... <laughs> I know a lot of us in a collective want somebody new, but there's definitely the energies of someone old in the background, okay? This motherfucker in the background doing shit in the background. The seven of swords and the devil. This could be someone trying to sabotage any kind of connections that you have coming. They don't give a damn who they are. They want to sabotage it. This could be your twin flame for sure. We got passion. Yeah, there's something about how passionate you are, how intense you are, how magnetic you are. How beautiful you are okay we got the ten of wands somebody just ain't doing good without you and the fucking truth of the matter is they're the one that hurt you and now they're feeling the effects of karma and they don't feel good and they want to run back to the very person that they hurt to help them that's how it be that's how it be collective that's how it be god will always send these people back period you know you may always run into your enemies. You may always see people that hurt you. It's no coincidence. You see them in your dreams. You see them everywhere. You see them on the street. You see them while you're driving. You see them while you're shopping. It's no coincidence that you end up seeing people that hurt you, baby. Okay? Somebody that hurt you needs you. Okay? They may want a second chance with you. Yeah. If you want to take this person back, just be patient at this particular time. They have some regrets about how they treated you. No doubt. Perhaps they just only kept things sexual with you. 
perhaps you need to keep some boundaries up with them because they still in that sexual based energy. They're coming out as the king and the knight of wands. There's still the potential for this person just to keep things sexual is there. If you want, if you want something stronger with them, you got to set up firm, firmer boundaries. Of course, they want your forgiveness. <laughs> You're taking care of yourself. It shows this person is longing for you. Yes, we got the knight. Of, I'm here the knights. The Knight of Cups, yeah, they owe you some sort of apology here. We got the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups. God dang, this motherfucker get drunk, they they cry over you, okay? They go into their feelings, they get in their feelings over you. They go to sleep drunk and they probably dream about you. This person has probably had some sort of orgasm or two while they were asleep dreaming about you. This person is coming up as the King of Cups. You're the Queen of Cups. This could be your twin flame. For sure, there he goes, twin flame. There she goes. Yeah, we got the will of fortune. <laughs> do you proceed forward without this person? Or do you bring them on your journey later on physically? I mean, it's going to be up to you. Some of you guys have manifested someone new, period. Mm -hmm. There's something suspicious about this twin flame or this soulmate. Because the archangel's on his ass. The ancestor's on her ass. They're watching your house. This person can't come near you. I'm telling you. The two of the two of wands, they can't get nowhere near you. They go to ancestors. They go to archangels. There's Michael. Archangel Michael. He's not playing about you. Get back. Get back. You could be 28 years old. You see this person, he's always got his wand up in the air. Okay, you see that wand sticking up? <laughs> There's his wand. It's passionate. It's hot. It's on fire for you. But he's blocked. She's blocked. Get back. Get back. Get back. You're in your abundant season here, okay? You got to check people. Why they want to come back now? Why they want to call you now? Okay, why, why, why? Is it because she's the queen of coins now? She's always, she always was the queen of coins. You're, you just didn't know it. She's the queen of coins and the ten of coins. Okay, she got that bank. She has the potential to be uh, wealthy for life. Okay, but this person didn't know it or now they know it and they want to take advantage of it. So you got to watch it. There's a spiritual connection or a spiritual component to the relationship that you share with this person. Point blank, period. Yeah, 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 period. Damn, this person watches over you spiritually, <laughs> okay? You could be assigned to watch over them and protect them in the spirit. This definitely is a twin flame for some of you. Take the read how it resonates. You watch over them in the spirit. They watch over you in the spirit, okay? No matter how much you want this person gone, no matter how much you can't stand him, no matter how much you're sick of his ass, there's a spiritual component to the relationship that you share with them. You can't cut no cord with a twin flame, no matter how hard you try. All you can do is lovingly move forward, okay? Just move forward here. Yes, this person is lacking something. <laughs> He's lacking something. She's lacking something. You see, they're coming up as the five of coins. That's poverty. They may not be financially in poverty but they could be spiritually or emotionally or they could be lacking something and i spoke about it opening up the reading they need some healing that only you could give yes judgment has been called upon them by god by god this person will face some sort of financial karma hardship that's part of their karma this person could also go to jail or they could currently be in jail period mm -hmm. they could be struggling to pay their bills their mortgage Car note, car insurance, rent, all that shit is here. That's part of their karma. This person may have tried to play you, juggle you with other people. They played an angel. They played an angel here. They tired of playing now. Look at him. The three of swords. He's exhausted. Look at her. Hmm. Oh, boy. Look at you. You're coming up as the nine of coins. Self-sufficient, independent, beautiful as ever. This is who they play with. Damn. She's a badass. She's a powerhouse. Look who they played over. Look at all this money. She got money all out the ass. You may like to put money in your hair. Or perhaps you should like put a put a hundred dollar bill in your hair or something like that. Fifty dollar, twenty dollar. That helps you manifest as well. That's your crown chakra. You know, you want to keep that in your mind all the time, especially if you're trying to manifest money. You could like to dress in red. Wow, look at you. You're coming up as the queen of queens. The nine of coins, you could be a Virgo for sure. This person is having nightmares, or they will be, okay? Just at the thought of how far you've come without their assistance or aid. Perhaps they thought you wouldn't make it. Perhaps this is a perhaps this is an ex-husband or ex-wife or baby mama, baby daddy who left you for dead. Okay. They said, Oh, 
She's never going to be shit. He's never going to be nothing, okay? But they were wrong. There's the Knight of Cups. There's that apology. There's that apology that they owe you. This could this Nine of Swords and, and the Knight of Cups could represent the apologies. You have a spiritual team that's kicking this person in the ass. Until you do right by me, everything you think about is going to fail. This, your spiritual team is kicking this person in the ass. They were childish. They were reckless. They were immature. Period. They could be sick. They need to eat. Look how skinny he looked. He could be frail. He could be physically ill. She could be physically ill. <laughs> like, look at look at this guy. He looks like he has HIV or something, okay? There could be something going on with this person's health. It doesn't have to be, but it just looks like it, okay? They didn't get what they thought they were going to get when they chose someone else over you. You have not been with this person. You've been in separation. You guys are currently in separation. They could have married someone else. They could currently be married to someone else, period. Yeah, they could be researching you, trying to find you, trying to gather information on you, trying to figure out your business. Like, oh, she's she she heads up this organization or she heads up this company now. This person definitely is looking into that. He wants to know all the tea. He wants to know all the tea. She wants to know all the tea. They digging all into your damn business. Mm hmm. They had you or they had the opportunity to be with you, but I don't feel like they have that opportunity at this particular time. A lot of you guys, for a lot of you guys, this is, he lies a lot. This is your divine masculine, honey. This is your twin flame. It's all about that wand. <laughs> you see, he's always got it in his hand or it's always ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's definitely been some people interfering with a connection that you share with him. We're not, or her, we're not going to ignore that. There's a contract that this person has with you. You see it in his hand and he knows it. They know it. Mm -hmm. For a long time, they played with it, though. She or he, they played with it. Look at you. You're coming up as the ace of coins, the nine of coins, the queen of coins. You didn't play with it. You didn't play with it, honey. You didn't. You Excuse me, Michael. You didn't play with your divinity here. You didn't play with your purpose. You're on your path. You're living and you're fluently operating in your north node energies. Congratulations. Blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings are yours. Point blank, period. This person is watching that shit, too. Mm -hmm. He's watching. She's watching. They're watching very intently and intensely. They're in some sort of aggressive energy. The Knight of Swords, that's aggressive. He could be, he could be aggressive over you or she. They could feel some sort of sense of entitlement or ownership over you. Oh, she's mine. He's mine. No, you're married to someone else, sir. Okay? That person is yours. You're independent. You're self-sufficient. The nine of coins, she's a single woman. He's a single man. Okay? You don't belong to no one. Period. You could be in a relationship. You could be married. Okay? But I pick up on a single person watching this video who has somebody in their energy who feels entitled. They feel entitled to you. <clears throat> they see now that you're abundant. And they see now that you can be very abundant without them. Period. Period. The high priest is closing out this particular message. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, Pisces, once again. So the high priestess has a message for us, collective. Closing out this particular message, okay? She says, pay attention. Pay attention. Keep your eyes open. There's something very watery and very emotional about you. And I picked it up, opening up this particular message. You are a gifted psychic medium who's deeply intuitive. And you have gifts. You have gifts that most people would not even believe, okay? This is what the high priestess says. There is somebody that's meant to be for you. Whether it be this person or a new person, you have a true love, honey, okay? We have we have multiple soulmates, but we only have one twin flame, okay? Remember that. The high priestess said, keep your eyes open. The potential for you to uh, meet someone new is here. It's in, their, it's in your energetic field, baby. You're being presented to multiple people or different people at this particular time. This is your justice. This is your justice. I'm here to take your time. If you want to date, date. But choose wisely and be sensible. This is what I'm hearing. Sensible. Yeah, be sensible. Take that blindfold off and really analyze anybody that you get close to or that you allow to get close to you. Your enemies are getting karma for what they've done to you. Somebody fluffed up, fluffed up a connection with you. Okay, you can live in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, you can live in Dallas, Texas. I'm here in Austin, Austin, Texas. Whew. The justice and the strength card. That's a strong indication of some serious karma. 
oh excuse me some serious karma somebody's facing some serious karma for what they did to you baby or what them people I'm, yeah i was gonna say what they them people did and there they go that's three of cups that's three people there's at least three people it could be six people it could be one person one narcissistic asshole that got a group of people together to try to turn on you these people are facing the karma for what they did to you be careful of anybody coming back from the past at this particular time because you've made it. You're sustained. You're 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 substantial without without any anybody. You've made it, honey. Congratulations. You chose to walk the path. You chose to keep your eyes on the prize. The ultimate goal. You know the ultimate goal collective is wish fulfillment here on the earth. Period. It's not all it's not all about money. It's not all about money, but you know that's part of it. That's part of your inheritance. There's been people that's been interfering with that shit. Okay, people coming down your path that had no business on your path. Yeah, yeah. somebody could definitely be spying and, you know, lurking on you. Okay, mm-hmm. You have attracted a long-term mate or a partner. You have the potential to be married. This time next year, you could already be in a marriage or you could get married next year or you could get someone serious this year, period. You and your soulmate, you and the person that you're meant to be with, you guys are not together at this time. You're in separation. Perhaps you and a twin flame will come back into union in the future. One year, six months. Take this time to love on yourself. Forgive those who hurt you. Continuously forgive them. Make sure you set up the firm boundaries that you need with anybody. Okay? Anybody. You set up those boundaries. Let them know. If you want to just fuck somebody, fuck them. Some people regret that they only fucked you. And they, they fucked themselves in the process of just fucking you because... You were more than just somebody to fuck. Huh? Be patient with yourself, honey. Mm-hmm. Of course, he or she, they want a second chance. They still want to fuck you, though. Okay? <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. I'm picking up on a Leo and a Scorpio. You have a connection that's meant to be. Whether or not you come together with your twin flame is completely up to you and them. But there's a soulmate that you're meant to be with, too. There's always the option there, okay? Yeah, you could be just taking some time and work on your finances at this time. You're getting more stable financially, okay? That's what you've been working on. You're coming up as the queen of cups, the queen of cups, and the queen of coins. You've been working on your finances. They've been working on watching you, stalking you, trying to block you, and trying to hurt you. You've been working on getting stable financially. And you're in the financial stability energy. Some people just got to accept the fact that they lost you, okay? You're the one that got away, period. They were meant to learn from you, but they hurt you. They hurt you. This could have caused you to have some trust issues. You don't trust nobody. You want to open yourself up, but you have some issues related to trust, period. You could have somebody in your energy that you're meant to be with, but you may be in denial. You've been hurt. You don't know if you can really trust. Yes, keep that guard up. Keep that guard up. It's okay. Don't dismiss the red flags. Keep your guard up, okay? There's people working hard to create. To create. I'm hearing Greg, and I'm hearing go away. Karmic, karmic interference. Go away. Go away. Yeah, I know this message is right on point. There are people that are working hard to create these obstacles for you because they don't want you to obtain or they don't want you to have what you came in this lifetime to get, which is ultimately your abundance. <laughs> You're going to get it regardless. There are people that owe you an apology. You know that. You know that. But you may never get it, but that's okay. There's something about your integrity. You don't you don't you don't give in, you don't back down, and you don't bow down and you don't kiss ass. You continue on your path. That's what sets you apart. You can't be bought. Okay, for the right for the right price, you know, <laughs> some people can be bought. I feel like you can't be bought. You can't be you can't be bought. I'm hearing Greg. There's something about Greg. If you have a brother named Greg or you have a husband, your twin flame name could be Greg, okay? This person feels so vulnerable at this particular time, but can you trust it? Can you trust him? Can you trust her? Is it all about your abundance, your inheritance? You have the potential to get this person into doors that they would not have the capabilities or resources to do without you. They know it. Can you trust them? Are they coming back for the right reasons? You've released they ass. There's something about a, a lease. A lease. You could be relocating. Okay. You could be a realtor. There's something about property, deeds, and um, home ownership and land here with lease. Okay. You could be re-signing a lease, renewing your lease. Or, um, yeah, there's something about property management at your complex. If you live in a complex, perhaps let me know in the comments here. 
take your time and go slow with anybody that you meet at this time or at any time. I know the chemistry can be overwhelming. You Sometimes, you know, you just want to go from point A to point B. But, you know, you got to remember, you're in that queen of coins energy, very abundant. Some people may target you just because of your abundance. That's why you're being called to wait. <laughs> don't let them get in your bed. Okay, don't let them just jump in your bed unless that's something you want to do. You got a true love. I don't know how many times I got to tell you, but you do. And they're obsessed with you. They want to fix this shit, but they don't know how, or they don't even know how they're going to get back in. You have a strong, you have a strong um, spiritual team that ain't going to let them nowhere near you at this time. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and close this particular message out. If you guys want to book me for a private reading, I'm available. Have a great day.